Hey everybody and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis and I'm Tavis. In this video, I won't be talking about vinyl, but I do want to talk about a wonderful graphic design tool website called Canva. And if you don't know by now, um, if you follow me, you do know that I am a teacher and I teach music and I have found Canva to be a fantastic graphic design tool for my classes. I use it to create posters. I use it to create worksheets and learning pages for my kids. And I do have Photoshop. And because I'm a teacher, I get a very good discount with Photoshop. Now, with Canva, um, if you're a teacher, you can unlock all of their fantastic features for free. Now, you have to go through a process of um, uh, verifying to them that you are an educator. And once that's been approved, um, the services are free. And they have loads of templates. They have loads of clip art. They have loads of photography just a wonderful, wonderful site. So I'm going to show you how I create a worksheet or a learning page in Canva. And then I'm gonna show you how I submit that or put it into Seesaw for the children to complete and submit, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen right now. And um, I'm gonna to go to Canva. Now again, uh, because I am a teacher, um, I get all of the features for free. So you have to go through the website and, and verify again that you are a teacher. And it, it's a pretty heavy duty process, but once you do it and they see that you are a teacher, it's, it's worth it, it's very well worth it. So as you can see, <clears throat> um, there's my, this is my page. They have tons of templates. Um, they have social media templates uh, for Instagram posts, Instagram stories, uh, TikTok backgrounds, uh, Facebook posts. Um, if you're wanting to find, um, or if you're wanting to create invitations, and posters and brochures, just everything is here. It's just fantastic and it's very simple. So I'm gonna start at the top here where it says create a design. And I'm gonna click on that and it gives me some different options of designs that I may want to create. Now I want to create a worksheet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in worksheet. And as you can tell, this Dropbox gives me lots of options. And I'm going to choose the first one, which is the vertical worksheet. 8.5 by 11 inches here. And here we go. And over here to the left, it gives me a lot of different templates that have already been created that I may want to use but I'm gonna create my own. So I'm gonna first start with some text. So right here, this T means text. And then it's gonna give me some different kinds of text that I may want to use. Now I'm gonna keep it simple and just um, add a subheading, which is going to be, I want the children to write their name. So I'm gonna type in name and I'm gonna make a line here. And I can go ahead and make that smaller using um, the text size here. I'm gonna take a minus, I'm gonna click on the minus rather and make it smaller and just drag it up to where I want it to go right here. And I'm gonna drag it out. And right here, this is the alignment. I want it to be um, not centered, but I want it to be on the left side. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this line so the kids have enough room to write their name. 
And um, the name of this worksheet is going to be called the Solfege Learning Page. So I just want it to be very exciting. I want it to have some spice to it. So I'm gonna choose some of their really cool fonts here on um, the side here. So I like, I really like this one. I like the chill uh, font. So when I click on that, it's going to bring it over to my page. Now, as you can tell, this is kind of small. So I'm going to zoom in. That's a little better. And right here um, on the corners, you have these white circles. You can use that to click on and make it smaller. I'm gonna bring it up to where I want it to be. And I'm gonna double click inside to change the word. So it's gonna say, Solfege um, work sheet. Now I'm gonna go here to the side and you see these rectangle white or the white rectangles, which lets me bring it out like that, okay? And I'm going to bring it out as much as possible. I want it to be just on one line. Now I'm gonna make it smaller. Just bring it in like that. And sometimes you have to click out of it so that you can drag it where you want it to go. And notice how you see that red line, that red vertical line that lets you know that you're centered, which is phenomenal. Another great feature in Canva. Let me make that a little smaller. And I'm going to see. Yeah, there it is. There's that wonderful red line. And I can use my up and down keys to bring it up a little bit like so, okay? So here we go, we're almost done. Now in this worksheet, I want the children to draw a line from the picture of um, the children doing the soulfish hand signs. And that's all gonna be on the left side. And then on the right side, I'm gonna have a list of the syllables that those hand signs uh, are associated with. And the kids are gonna draw a line from the illustration of the hand sign to the syllable that it represents, okay? So I ordered off of Teachers Pay Teachers a wonderful um, Solfege poster set. And right here on this left side, you see uploads. And I have already uploaded those photos or those illustrations of those children showing the hand signs right here. Okay, so now I see all of the children showing their hand signs for Soulfish. So I'm gonna click on each picture to bring it into the worksheet. So there's that, and I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm gonna have two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna have eight of these. So I'm gonna make sure I have enough room <laughs> to, to um, have all of those wonderful illustrations here. So there's one, and I'm gonna speed this up. Now I have three more to add, but I won't have room. So I'm gonna just click on all of them. Um, I'm gonna click on the first one and then hold shift and then click on the other one so that I can select all of them together and make them smaller all together. You see what's happening? They're getting smaller all together. They become one and I can just drag them up here. And let's see if I can go ahead and add the other three. Hope you're having a wonderful day as I'm doing this. I enjoy learning about this technology and 
for the longest, I created a lot of my own um, learning pages for my students because sometimes it's hard to find uh, specific ones that I'm wanting for the kids to do. And if I can do it for free without paying, then I'll do it. Okay, so I have to put that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these. I just clicked on the top one. Now I'm gonna hold shift to collect or to um, select the others so that I can make them all smaller. There we go, just like so. Bring them all up, maybe a little smaller. And let's use my up and down key like that, yeah. I'm gonna make this smaller and bring this down here. Okay, so that's done. Now, of course, now that I look at it, I have forgotten to type in the directions. And I'm gonna use the text tool over here and type in the directions. Let's use um, this, I'm gonna use something very simple. Use this, add a subheading like so. And I can change the text or the font of the text up here at the top. And it gives you a variety of different kinds of fonts. I'm gonna use Roboto. Let's see, and it changed a little bit. No, let's use something else. Let's use Alice, okay? And then it automatically changes it, okay? So I'm going to type in the directions. Draw a line from the Solfege illustration to its correct syllable. Now I'm going to make this smaller by just dragging it like so. And I want it to be one line. And did you see these here? This is your moving tool. Okay, I love that. You can just click on that and move it like so. And I'm going to spread it out so that it's on one line. I don't want it to be two lines. Let's see, I can make it smaller. And I can also go over here and make the text smaller. I can decrease the font size like so. There we go, and it's one line, just like I want it to be. Let's see if it's center. Uh, I see my wonderful um, vertical line that shows me that it's centered. Okay, now I'm going to create my syllables. And again, I'm going to use a very funky font. So let's see if I can find something really cool. Um, let's use this. Let's use the wow, um, the wow font. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. And so I'm going to click, click in that to make it smaller. I can do it like that. So I'm going to type in dough because that's one of the syllables. And I'm going to see if I can make it as centered as possible with the other illustrations. Now I know that I'm going to use the same font and I'm gonna use the same color. You don't have to, you can change the color if you want. If you wanna click on it, um, if you go into this area where it says text color, you can change the color, but I'm gonna keep it as it is. And I may make it a little smaller. I'm just clicking in this um, text size. I'm decreasing the font size rather. And I'm gonna click in this and I'm gonna click on my Mac, Control C, which is copy. And then, I'm sorry, not Control, but Command C and then Command V, and it's gonna make a copy of that. And I'm going to make this Ray, which is one of the sole fed syllables. And I can keep on clicking Command V because it's still saved 
for me to copy and paste. Do re mi. Fa. <laughs> Do re mi fa so. La. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm just clicking Command V. I need two more. T. Double click. I'm double clicking in there so I can select everything and change um, the text. And one more, another dough. Oh, there it is. I don't have to change it because it's already built. So I'm going to spread this out so that it's even with these illustrations on the right side. So let's just um, do something like that. Make sure it's even with that. Now, do you see how as I'm dragging this, it's showing that it's even with the illustration to the left? Look at that. That is really cool but it's gonna look kind of lopsided. So um, I may just do it like this. I may do it the way I want it. And the kids, they'll know what to do. They're smart, great kids. Okay, do it like that. Let me just make this a little, let's make it as even looking as possible. Okay that bring this up some okay now i may want to bring everything in some so i'm going to go ahead and click on all of these like i showed you earlier i'm holding down my shift key as i'm clicking so i can select everything and i'm going to move it i'm using my arrow keys my left arrow key to move it closer to the center and then i'm going to click out now I'm gonna click in one of the pictures here and I'm gonna hold shift and click the other pictures as well so that they become one. They can move as one element. And let's move those in like so. I might bring it up some like that. Yeah, that's cool. Bring it in. Yeah. So right now we have our soul veg worksheet and all the kids have to do is draw a line from the illustration to the correct syllable. And this is their worksheet. Now, if you wanted to add another page to this, you can do that as well. At the bottom, it says add a page, but I just want one page. Now, um, I'm going to click download. Now, before I do that, let me tell you that everything that you do in Canva, it is saved in the Canva cloud in your account. So it doesn't take up any space on your computer. Only if you download what you have created, maybe as a PDF, as a JPEG, as a video, only what you download, uh, that's the space that will be taken up on your computer. However, any of the work that you've done is automatically saved. All of your designs are saved which is wonderful. So right now I'm going to download this. I'm clicking download. And it's saying here is suggesting that I download it as a PNG, but I want it to be a PDF. So I'm going to click this arrow down and, and see a Dropbox and see if it gives me other options. And of course it does. Um, it has um, the JPEG, which is a small file size image, but I want to have the PDF. Now there are two PDFs. There's a PDF standard, which is a small file size, but I want it to be a high quality document. So I'm gonna click PDF print, because I'm gonna print this off. And I'm gonna print it in color too. The kids love to see color. So I'm gonna click on that. And now it's selected. I'm not gonna worry about the crop marks and bleed because everything is where I want it to be. 
and I'm gonna download this. And it's preparing my design. And it's usually saved in my download folder, okay? So you're, you save your design. Now, let me show you what happens. Now, of course, that's been saved in my uh, downloads folder, the PDF. But if I go home, and let's say that I lose that PDF for some reason, um, that design that I created is still there. The workspace of that design is there. So look at here, to the left, all your designs. And usually the, the latest one that you worked on is the first one that you see. So right here is trying to generate what I've already created just recently, the Soulfetch worksheet. But I'm gonna click on it anyway, because it's there. And sure enough, it's coming up. And it won't, it won't leave <clears throat> unless I delete it manually. But I don't want to, because I may want to use that again or use that as a, a template for another worksheet that I'm going to do. So let's go to my downloads folder to show you um, that that's where that PDF is. Here's that worksheet that I created. Now, now that I've done that, how do I put that in Seesaw? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I love. So I could have the kids do it um, with pencil in hand and they can do it in class. But if I want them to do it in Seesaw, I'm going to actually add an activity. I'm going to assign an activity, but I'm going to create an activity. Create a new activity, yay. And I'm gonna call it Solfege Learning Page. Now, as you can tell, I've already done this, but I'm just showing you how to do it again. So I'm gonna type my instructions. I'm gonna say, draw a line from the Solfege or from the Solfege illustrations to the correct syllable that it represents. Click the check button, that's the shortcut for the picture of the green check. Click the check button to submit to your music teacher. Okay. And I'm going to add a template for the students' responses. That's where I'm going to upload that learning page that I just created in Canva. So I'm going to upload and I'm gonna select this file from my computer. And as you can tell, there it is right there is the first one that I see. So I'm gonna click on that and click open. And it's uploading. And we're going to see it right there. Wow, so that's what the kids will see. Let's see what happens if I uh, magnify it or zoom in. See, there you go. And I'm going to click the green button right here, which is going to solidify that I've created this Seesaw activity. I'm gonna save it. And there it is, everybody. There it is. Wow, that's fantastic. The kids love to see color. Oh, they just love it. And that's what the kids will see. And they can use um, the drawing tools and draw a line from the illustrations to the right syllable. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too hard. It can get really involved, but I love doing it. I love creating my own learning pages because I know what I want the kids to be able to do. And if it's free, and you can do it, why not do it yourself? You know what I'm saying? So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm gonna end like I always end, with music, <laughs> with great learning pages that you create, with great graphic design tool websites like Canva. 
be inspired and stay inspired. <laughs>